everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Absolute Beginner's Guide to Minecraft. I'm Paul of Thebes, and today we're going back into the nether. Why would you want to go back into the nether, I hear you say? Well, we want to get places quicker. And for every block you travel in the nether, you travel eight blocks in the overworld. So, we're going to go in. Yep. Into hell. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> downloading terrain. Okay, we're in. Now, I've got cords of places that I want to go to and set up another portal. So that's why I have my obsidian, I have my flint and steel. We're going to go somewhere. We have our cords here on screen. Press F3. XYZ 97 71 minus 62. Okay, that's basically where we are here. I need to get to minus 56. And minus 347. So I'm gonna check which way I have to go. This guy's not after me, don't worry. <laughs> He's just curious. Minus 80 and 88, 87. So I have to head in this direction uh, to get to my place. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and around. And just remember to stay out of the. Uh, way of any nasty mobs. Make sure you have plenty of arrows. I've got plenty. I've got 68 arrows with me. Okay. I hear you. I don't want to see you. No, I want to go down here. Remember, bring some tools with you. Make sure you have got wood if you need to make tools on the fly. I'm not going to waste my diamond pickaxe on this kind of stuff. Okay, and if you want, of course, you know, you have to leave some sort of clue as to where you've been to find your way back, or, of course, just use your coordinate system, which is much handier. And uh, be careful not to fall in lava. If you have potions, please do feel free to use them. I brought some fire resist, some speed, uh, and night vision, because let's face it. It's dark in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Maybe the night vision wasn't a good idea. <laughs> wow. Talk about weird looking. Okay, and remember, be careful mining in the nether because lava does flow that bit quicker. get quartz with our fortune wow this place looks weird with the night vision so I'm just checking my quartz and I'm still head heading in a negative direction that's good I don't fancy my chances on lava so just in case I'm going to drink a fire resistance potion <laughs> Not really paying attention here very well. And just to make it even more interesting, let me see what else have we got. Speed 2, why not? <laughs> yeah, let's go mental. <laughs> okay. Get there quicker, but I know I'm going to fall into this lava. <laughs> Okay, that's not not too bad. Need some blocks. I'm gonna get rid of these for the moment. And uh, oh, I'll just jump down. Okay. Now we're all right. We have fire resistance potion, so we're not gonna fall in the lava. Check my cords. I've got a minus 50. I'm looking for minus 56. Where am I? Minus 50s. I can't even see what I've written. It. Yep, and minus 247. So we're getting close. Okay, there's a minus 56. I could keep that and I could dig this way till I get to 347. That, that would be kind of boring. So I'm going to go up this way. I 
might just have to dig, as there's not really that much landmass around. Okay. Now, usually for this kind of stuff, you're probably better off heading up into the ceiling of the nether and digging tunnels throughout. It does take some time, and you don't get to see the place. See all the sights. <laughs> Not that it's that pretty to look at. Fire, uh, night potion or whatever, or not. It's not that pretty. Okay, um, okay, we're pretty good here. We'll go up here. We're pretty close to where we want to be. I said 347, didn't I? Yeah, okay, so there's 347. And then if I move over this way a bit, We've got 56, so here. Now, it's a bit close to the lava for my liking, so I'm gonna pop my uh, obsidian down here instead. Okay, one, two, and then, where's our, we'll put those in our block, our bar instead, and then one here, one here, and we go, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we'll pop one on top here and another two here. And that's our basic portal, our two by three. Okay. And all we need now is our flint and steel. And we right click here and our portal is made. Now, we've traveled in the nether, only a small distance. As you see, Minus, I'm at minus 61 now, 347, minus uh, 348. Where are we going to come out? In the overworld! Where, well, hey! Okay, <laughs> way up high on the treetops of a job. Ah, oh, yes, exactly where I wanted to come. We have now got ourselves a, not only a jungle, which I found very hard to find, but a jungle temple. Ah, a jungle temple. Exactly what we want. Now. Jungle temple. What can we find in a jungle temple? Well, first of all, I didn't think we'd spawn up on a tree. <laughs> I thought maybe we'd be down here on the ground somewhere. But that doesn't matter. Now, don't forget to eat. Now, with all the tree coverage, there can be mobs. So you just have to be careful. There's a creep for starters. Now, we could take him out just so we don't have to bother with him later on. Okay. Now, here we go. Jungle temple stairs up to nothing. Stairs down to something. Now, I've got night vision on, so that's why I don't even know if it's night or day. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, well, it's fairly dark in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, it's the handiest thing about these that on the floor there are yep yeah, you will see here these little pegs on either side and if I was to walk through here you can just about see the string behind that is a dispenser with an arrow in it so if I walk in there see it shoots out an arrow that's not good so it's a trap so we just left click break that and it will send the arrow out and then we can move down here and right click our dispenser and we can take the arrows out it's a nice little booty for us now there should be another one see it there so somewhere along the line there is another yep see there string so if I just move over here out of the way like that send an arrow over there pick that up and right click the dispenser and get our arrows out nice now we have a chest with something in it oh we have some gold that's nice uh, what am I going to leave behind? I am going to leave behind one of these flint and steel and take the gold. Now, you noticed when we came in here on the other side, there were levers. And if you get the right combination, you can hear something opening. I never know what the right combination of this is. But somewhere back here, it'll open up. A door.
Now I don't think I've ever got this. <laughs> so I'm the impatient type. I tend to just take these blocks out. And in here is our chest. Ooh, more gold and an emerald. Nah, I'll leave behind some of these empty bottles. There's my night vision has worn off, as you can see. So, let's light her up. Uh, probably should have done anyway to stop mob spawning. Uh, what did I leave? I left the other flint and steel. I'm going to go back for that. Just in case. You can never have too many flint and steel. <laughs> okay. So that is a jungle temple and what to find inside it. And there's another type of temple similar that, well, I would like to bring you to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Yeah, I think we've done with this place. And we're going to go back through our portal. Now what I could do is I could climb up to my portal up there. Or I could rebuild it down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it easier for me. And I'm going to rebuild my portal down here on the ground. Okay, so I right click. And that's lit. And that will bring me back to the one. But I still have that one upstairs. So I want to take that one out completely. And the quickest way to do that is to nip up here. And spill water on it. Let's it go. If I can. Okay, so that breaks your portal. And if you really don't want to reactivate it, then you're best to take your pickaxe and knock out one of the blocks. Now that won't reactivate. Okay, so we have the one down here. And then pop in here. And this should bring us back to the one we made in the nether. Ta-da! Okay, now you can pretty that up. You can do whatever you want. And now I'll just make my way back. So then I just pop back in through my own portal. And I'm back here. Oh, we have a visitor. Welcome. Welcome to the overworld. <laughs> right. Now, I have somewhere else I want to go. Not too far now. Might as well crash this one. Yep. That's my last boat. And up over this horizon, we're nearly there. Okay, we've got a wee village. And the guys are going in for the night. And there's the other place where I wanted to go. Okay, around here. This is, well. Wait for it. Ta-da! Okay, this is fairly covered up, but this is a desert temple. And we need to find our way in. Usually the door is here. Usually you see much more of it. There's other doors down here. Here's one. Okay, we also have bad guys to deal with by the sounds of it. Not the best of time to come. The evening. Hello. That would be a better placement of torches than this. Okay, I'm going to give myself some safety and lock myself in. And we can pick these off without going down. And just get ready for anything downstairs. Hello? Anyone else here? Okay, stick up a few torches in the dark areas. You dropped a bow, anything good? No. <laughs> There's our usual door in. And here. Oh, we had a way in. Silly me. Oh, okay. Well, let's close that off then. Because we just want to deal with what's going on in here. This one's probably open too. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just close it off 
here. Right, now, this also has goodies, but they're hidden. And they're hidden down here. Okay. Now, you need to dig down. I wouldn't advise you to jump, because you see that grey thing down there? That's a pressure plate. Wow, this is a powerful. I can't even make a proper staircase. It's too powerful. <laughs> You need to get out, you know. <laughs> okay. Don't stand on this pressure plate. Break it. Why? Because underneath it's TNT. I'll just light it up so you can see. And that makes a pretty large boom. So we just collect that with our pickaxe as well. Or you can even just punch it. Okay. Now I have no room, so I don't want the pressure plate. I don't want those either. I'll just take the TNT. <laughs> Now, let's just get out of here. We have four chests. And we've got some gold in that one. We've got some gold in that one. And we have some nice diamond horse armor. Have I anything to get rid of? Uh, get rid of the bones. I'll take the diamond horse armor. Iron, I will take that for my flint, Steve. <laughs> we've got more gold. We've got some iron. More iron, more emeralds. Okay, that was pretty good. No diamonds, but you can get them. Let me just pop on out of here. And if we wanted to, as I said before, make a return here, we can come back. Let's put our portal here. Okay, this should be interesting. We'll dig out a couple of spots here. One, two, whoops, two, well, we have the, we don't, we're not too bad. One, two, three, and then we'll have to dig out a couple here. More on the sand, and one, two. Now, there's our portal. And we need our flint and steel. And we didn't go into the nether, so we don't know where we're going to come out. We, did, we don't have one set up on the other side. So this is a gamble. It's just like when you're first going into the nether. And sword at the ready. Here we go. Where will we end up? Okay. Look where we ended up. <laughs> yep. We ended up back at our home portal. Because of the close vicinity to where we came out. Now when we go out of this, we won't be back in the temple. We'll be back at our little home portal here. So, I would have to go into the nether, find my coordinates for my portal, which were roughly around uh, 262 and 41. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Divide it by eight and place a portal. So that's what I'm going to do. 212 by 42, 43. And we have to divide those by eight. So how's your eight times tables? Five eights are 40, so we know that's five. And the other one, well, that'll save you some trouble. It's 26 <laughs> point something. Uh, so if I pop in here and get my obsidian ready, although my, we're back at, way back at home base. We have to get to 26 and 5. Okay, so this way. And this way. Ooh, that's a nasty looking way, isn't it? So somewhere over there. Ooh, yep. Yeah. See the way that fell? If, uh, if it's updated and it's on the edge, it'll fall off. There's 26, and there is 5. So that is where we are going to place our portal. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, stone. We 
turn this off. It's annoying. Now, and if I place my flint and steel down here, right click it, this should bring me back to the temple. Ta-da! Simple as that. And if I go back in here, I will come back out at that one and not the home one. Ta-da! Okay, and then all I have to do is walk back over there to where the home one is to get home. And that's quicker traveling that way than traveling on foot or by boat over in the overworld. It takes a lot longer to travel that way. Okay, see? I'm nearly there. There we go. Fantastic. So, nether travel saves you time. For every single block that you travel in the nether, you travel eight blocks in the overworld here. So it's a much quicker way of traveling. Uh, not entirely safe, but it's much, much quicker. Okay, hope that's been of help. And uh, tune in next time when we do something else. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. All the best. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.